viewers and welcome back to Mixed Mazda Valleys. I've had a couple of um, comments made on a couple of old videos um, from a couple of um, regular viewers who um, don't use any cow mag or liquid fertiliser on their Mazda Valleys. And they've asked me if there's an alternative. And I said, yeah, I'll uh, do a bit, of it, a bit of a video of what I use sometimes. I use it on tomato plants, I use it on um, my chilies, and I've used it on these mazzies. And I said, you know, you can buy a liquid fertilizer, a liquid uh, CalMag online in shops, but unfortunately they, uh, they've never shopped online. They've never even, never even heard of uh, eBay. And at the current time, they're at home, they're on lockdown, they can't get out to get anything for their orchids. So I said, I tell you, I've used eggshells. I don't know if other people have used eggshells before. You know, good old eggshell from your breakfast. So I thought I'd just do a quick video how I make uh, some calcium from eggshells and how I put it on my mazzies. So give me a minute, I'll move the camera and we'll show you how to do it. Okay, so what we're going to need before we start, we're going to obviously need some eggshells. We're going to need a mortar and pistol, hope you can see that. And we're going to need to um, wash the eggshells. I apologise for that, the um, fog is on in the background and I'm not prepared to turn it off. We're getting quite warm again. So what we need is some eggshells from your breakfast this morning or whenever, whatever you've used eggshells for. Give them a good washing. Wash out all the old bits of egg that's left inside the shell. Then personally, I microwave it for a couple of minutes on full power in a microwave just to make sure if there's any bacteria left inside the eggshell, I've killed the bacteria off. Some people put them inside the oven uh, in a gas oven, an electric oven, just to bake off the shells a bit that also kills off the bacteria. It's not too difficult to make, it's uh, an equivalent to uh, a liquid fertiliser once you put um, the coal mag eggshell, the, sorry the uh, eggshells around the plant it acts as uh, a calcium feed. So people who's worried about not having any um, coal mag, this is another alternative for you to do. You'll need uh, pistol and mortar, mortar and pistol, whatever it's called, to break the eggshells up, then we'll get them fine as we can. So I'm not going to go through everything, what I'm going to show you is we'll put the eggshells in, inside the uh, mortar and pistol, drop them all in there, all over the place at the moment, look. Right, I'll put them in there, then I'll start breaking them down and I'll show you, I'll come back when I've crushed them a little bit. So I have started um, breaking them down, you can see that in here. I'll keep doing it for a minute. You'll find a lot of gardeners also these uh, use eggshells on the plants in the garden. Some people say it's good to keep snails off your plants. I don't know, I've never personally used eggshells for that reason. but. For all you people who need a bit of calcium, this will do. Let me just keep uh, breaking these down and I'll back to you in a minute. Right, I've got a beast, uh, decent uh, breakdown of them now. If you can see in there, you can see, well let's take that out of the way so you can see better. Consistency of a, a powder form now. Probably could do with a little bit more breaking up before you put it on your mazzies or put it around the top. I'd probably do this probably once a month. You can see on top of your plants um, when it needs to and it does break down pretty quick. Um, it'll give them the calcium they need. So if you've got a few mazzies with a couple of yellow spots on or you think you've got uh, a deficiency of calcium in your Mazda Valleys and you can't get out and get any liquid fertiliser and I know not everybody can afford it nowadays to go out and just keep buying products when you're trying to grow uh, orchids in a greenhouse or in the home. You can't always afford to go out there 
and buy this stuff that's being recommended or what people's using. So good old methods, uh, good old fashioned way is this way. So what I'll do now is I'll get uh, a Mazzy and I'll show you how I put it around the Mazzy. Hang on. Right then I've broke it all up. Here's some um, I've had made for probably a week or so now and here's a Mazzy. What I've just noticed has got a, um, a couple of spikes on. I'm sure you can see them there. They're in there. But I'll just show you quickly, demonstrate how I'm going to put a bit of calcium on. I use a good old um, little scoop, what we're using here, a quarter teaspoon. You don't need too much. Just get a, a bit inside and just tip it. around the top of your plant and if you can see that in there now it's um, got eggshell in there all I do now is just continue to water as normal and that will seep through down to the roots as it's needed and it's one way of making sure that your Mazda Valleyers have got some um, calcium without the need of having to go in out, going out and buying it I hope that's been useful to some of you and always remember I never mind when you send uh, comments or emails asking for questions because at the end of the day the orchid community is that's what we're trying to do these videos for is to make sure that everybody can grow these beautiful orchids so if you ever want to know anything and you want something a particular video or how to I will do it so just let me know so until next time Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. I hope the people who uh, requested it find it easy to make this uh, eggshell calcium to put on your plants. You'll have to let me know how you go on. But anyway, until next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.